Hello everyone, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Heaven Officials Blessing uh, Season 1 Episode 6. Now, uh, you guys must be surprised, it's already back in Tuesday in this week of the upload. And I'm here to say this so that you guys won't be surprised. But from now on, uh, here and eyes and Heaven Officials Blessing would return back to their uh, usual weekday up uploads and it won't be an irregular schedule this time uh you guys will see have an official blessing and you're in ice every week from now on with villa saga and the rest so don't i hope it's a pleasant surprise to you guys but yeah i finally have enough free time i've managed to free up a bit of my schedule i've managed to make a bit how should i say this i managed to estimate the time where i would be editing and all and so i managed to find some time to watch it regularly now so yeah um as the more time passes by and i get used to editing multiple videos at once uh i can actually manage to edit it faster than normal now than the average that i did back then and so i managed to get more time free time during that so i managed to get some time to record now that's a good thing right and so yeah the only thing that hinders me probably from recording more than this uh set of animes that i'm reacting right now is probably the rendering time and the compressing time of the of the uh episodes that i'm reacting to so yeah um from now on this is going to be the usual <laughs> upload until i finish up an official blessing but yeah um, i'm really looking forward to this one because um where we've met this sickly guy who seems to be oozing out dust or sand. I don't know, but it's probably going to be interesting to see how. Or rather, let's get to me. Let's get to know this one. How he got there, even though he's this week already. How did the villagers found him or something like that? Is he a foreigner or is he someone from the village? We're probably gonna know. And so let's start the reaction because I'm so excited. I haven't been able to watch the last episode, so I'm a bit. I'm sorry if I'm a bit lost here. Selma? Where's. <gasps> he doesn't want you touching his guy. <laughs> He's jealous of an old man. Oh my god. I'm the owner. Yeah. To where? Yeah. Why are you afraid of him? The crescent pass. What? Is there something wrong with this guy? Why don't you want to drink? You must be thirsty. Is there something wrong with this guy? Are they touching him? Oh, come on! He's fake drinking? You can't drink it. Is this guy a ghost? <gasps> well, he's not a weak old man. Um, what the heck? <gasps> oh, is that a chapstick? The heck are you? Is that is that an ink? Is that ink? What the heck is he? A puppet. 
，一般皮囊光是做到举止逼真就已经很了不起了。而这道人还能不沾鬼就避开符咒，看来操纵者法力非同小可。Who's your creator？ 想不到你对这种艺术也有涉猎。Watch with the shadow under your eyes。倒是哥哥，不觉此事蹊跷吗 ？It's fishy。确实，画的好丑。我要画的比帝师好看，帝师还有饭吃吗 ？Earth Master。So there's a wind, earth, fire, and water master then. 天官赐福，百无禁忌。What? Wow! <gasps> 据古记载，月辰之时，向着北极星方向一直走，就会看到。哥哥，你看。北斗星，好亮。西北的夜空似乎比中原更疏朗些。怎么他也看？哦，这奇门遁甲很是神奇，我来参观一下。参观？你带我们是去玩的？算了，来都来了，干粮也是够的。三郎，跟紧了，别走。Don't get lost。好，干粮的问题吗？好了，南风，不要再你们说了。<笑>哦 h、oh、my god, we're really going to this desert plains. Oh my god. I'm sorry about the working guys. <gasps> And those two, the, the couple are wearing their veils. <laughs> All night. Oh wow. The more money it costs. Okay. Just in case. Oh, he doesn't want to walk. It's too hot for him. <gasps> What the heck is this domestic? Fearing that I feel whenever I see this too. <laughs> yeah. And she looks sweating as well, right? That's true. 行吧，我和哥哥喝一个水壶就行。他的水快喝光了，是吗？那两位先。Need to go first. 你是客，你先请。你是从，辛苦了，你先请。还是你先请？不不，你们先。Wait, this two doesn't want. The two of them doesn't want to drink. Why? 你们这般不友好，岂不是更像心虚？莫非，水里有？你问问他这水有毒没？哥哥，这水有毒吗？没毒，不过……那好。会的。Nothing happened. 听水而已。He broke the artifact. 这个好喝多了。小兄弟，此趟凶险，送你一把利剑防身。要神剑红剑。Ghost revealing sword. This sword, you from where? It's from the Feng Xing Dynasty. He took the sword and took it back. Okay. This time, I used it. Okay. Let's see. He touched it. If he draws the sword out, will he reveal himself? Why did sword tremble? He broke it. He broke it. I'm pretty sure he broke that one. Yeah, he broke that one before it can even use its power, probably to reveal his true form or something. Yeah, 
No, he just broke it once you touch it. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, <gasps> okay. Okay. Thank goodness. Now you think about him. <laughs> and there he is. What's wrong? <gasps> what the heck is this scene? You guys are in the middle of a sandstorm. And you guys can still create a romantic... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and this story just is struggling. It's the sorcery. Oh. Find a shelter. Just keep going. later. Yeah. You guys go back to the house. Oh my god. Sandang. <gasps> oh god, oh my god. Was he the one? Was he specifically brought up? If it's sorcery? Sorcery is something solid. <gasps> oh god. Is he the only one brought up? Or... <gasps> <gasps> is that Sandang? <laughs> no more, no, 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 no. Wait, what? Okay, um, so, uh, Sanla, you better make sure that she is okay. Oh, come on. Please, darn it. Are they all gonna be separated? I don't know. I feel like Chilean was specifically brought up. Like, that's the thing. He's among them four. He's the only one who's specifically being carried by the drift, drift of the wind. And Sanla was only able to kind of follow him. When the white clothing that he owns, kind of, he ordered the clothes to find something solid and hold on to it so that he can go down or something probably. But then he, <laughs> the clothes, uh, held hold on to held on to San Lang. Oh, I mean, who knows? Maybe when San Lang saw the cloth and he just grabbed onto it because he knows it will lead, lead him into Chilean. Who knows, right? But yeah. Um, I sure hope that they're going to be okay. Come on. I don't want to see. <laughs> I just feel so concerned now because Nanfeng and Fu Yao, we, did, we didn't see him. We didn't see him for now. But we did see a bit of San Long at the end. But then they kind of separated once again after they managed to see each other's figure and all. And now I don't know what's going to happen with this. Shilin's going to be alone. And then there's a woman who seems Shilin's. I mean, when Shilian saw her, saw her, I didn't even recognize that she's a woman because, I mean, come on. This show, uh, both their women and men has long hair. And so I didn't even recognize her at first. But since they said it's a woman, then it must be a woman. It must be the a woman, right? So basically, did the woman do that? Did he want to talk? Did she want to talk with Shilian because they recognize each other? Come on. I'm so confused about that. But also, um, the old guy that we see in this episode that they were supposed to be aiding was actually a puppet from the Crescent Pass. And I'm not sure of its origin. Is it someone, I mean, the creator of it must be really powerful, San Lang said, because, well, they were, I mean, a puppet that can act like human can actually it's already tough enough but then this one's just so advanced that someone said that it must be very powerful so it must be the 
the evil Taoist or something, right? So it must be something, maybe the leader or something like that. Maybe a leader. I'm I'm unsure of its origin right now, and it's a puppet. So that means that was he ordered to go out or something, or did he just escape? I'm still confused about that. Did I mean he did say that I finally managed to get out of there or something? So did he escape? Did he betray its master or something? I don't know. Or maybe did did the puppet, the puppet's creator specifically asked him to go after Shilian so that Shilian would go to the Crescent Pass, aka meet him again, whoever this person is. Who knows? Maybe Sanlong is the unexpected factor. Like if Sanlong wasn't there, then. Maybe something else would have happened, but since Sun Long was very much protective over uh Shilian, is there I mean maybe they weren't able to connect or something? I don't know. I'm a bit unsure of that. Oh, oh, oh before I end this one. Like before I end this one. <laughs> it's still early. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this the truth serum and the ghost revealing right? Ghost revealing sword. These are the attempts of Fu Yao and Nan Feng wanting to uncover his uh disguise and they failed. I mean the truth serum maybe I don't know. Maybe there is maybe the reason why those two artifacts weren't able to reveal uh Sanlang's true form was because the moment Sanlang held it, the object probably, he probably suppressed it or something, he probably broke it before it even managed to do its wonder. So maybe that's the case. But the thing is, I'm so confused about... Is it Fuyao, the brown-haired character? Is it Fuyao? Is it is Fuyao his name? But that one, the one with the truth serum, I don't know. I mean... I feel like he's... Is he a disguise as well? Because the thing is, I've, I'm, I've been wondering about it since uh the beginning where they said that their their uh the, their general or something like that uh didn't know about them accompanying um Shilian. but the thing is you guys are the junior deputy or something you're their kind of you're kind of their assistant so it's impossible right because general pay junior was Aware of the things that concerns um General Pei himself, so and General Pei kind of ordered him or something like that, probably to go and and kind of actually um and kind of deal with Swanji. So I'm, I'm thinking now since they both I mean not not the black black haired guy, but Fuyao, the brown haired guy didn't want to drink the truth serum when. Uh, when when Sun Lang actually asked him to drink it because he he kind of asked or rather wonders if it's poisonous and that's why he's making him drink it and he doesn't want to drink it. But then the question, are you hiding something or something like that? I was like, maybe, maybe just maybe the reason why they said that their, their general doesn't want to know, didn't know about their moves or something like that was because they're 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 disguised i mean these two deputies or something that are disguises or something like that that those two generals are maybe these two are the generals disguised as their deputy or something that's why they didn't want no but ling Wen knows about their existence oh god i'm i'm just mumbling something probably impossible right now I'm sorry for wasting three minutes of nonsense. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry for wasting your time with that. I mean, the moment I remember that Ling Wen kind of knows their existence, I was like, yeah, that's not possible at all. I was just deluding myself. But yeah, um, so we're up. We're just finished with uh the Swan G art, and now we're heading with this Crescent Pass art, and now. We, I mean, it's quite confusing. To be quite honest, I probably have to rewatch it. But essentially, two hundred years ago, um, it was still the place that Shilian kind of envisioned, like the place he remembered to be a bre a breathtaking place. But then, one hundred and fifty years ago or so, it changed, right? 
And when Shirian asked Ling Huan and the other gods about it, I mean, the other gods were just, they were stunned for a bit and then just kind of um rushed along with it. Intentionally, they ignored the question that he asked. But then Ling Huan said that the matters of the Crescent Pass should not be, I mean, should, Shirian should just ignore it because it's something that the heavenly realm is possibly involved with like maybe oh my god maybe i mean i watched this ashes of love did it eternal love did it but heaven the heavenly realm even though it's named heavenly realm it's not usually the kindest place like in ashes of love the ghosts were the more morally correct people aside from the dangling's character and all and so who knows what would happen in this one like it's very normal for the heavenly realm to be the corrupt evil one while the ghost realm or something that demon realm or something like demon realm or something like that would be more of the morally gray one though they're the ones more good or something i don't know i just thought about it but the moment that i heard that i, I mean the moment that i heard Ling Wan saying that the matters of the heavenly realm shouldn't be dig deeper or something like that. I was like, oh, okay, so the heavenly realm is not as good as I expected it to be. <laughs> Come on, of course, this is a Chinese novel. Why did I actually even brush that point? Like, of course, of course, of course. I mean, the ascension of General Pei Jr. was a massacre, right? So it's not exactly a good thing. Oh god, why did I brush this off? <laughs> Why did I brush it off? But yeah, I'm, I'm so curious about the next episode. Will they reunite? Or will they have to go through this new path? Or rather, this new obstacle that they face alone? Oh, come on. At the very least, I want uh, Fuyao and Nanfeng together so that they can help each other. And then we have Shilin and Sanlang so that they can continue being lovey-dovey. Because come on, Sanlang is a devastation rat. He's watching. Confirm. Like, I don't even need a confirmation to think about that. My knowledge about Chinese novels and all just kind of screams at me and saying that why are you still denying it at this point? He's definitely watching. So he's watching. I've accepted that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm so curious about the next episode now. I'm so curious about it, to be quite honest. Hua Chang and Shilin must be together. Or other Han Lang. Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> Come on, Sanlang and Wachem must be together. At the very least, in, if Shilin goes, I mean, Shilin's not exactly a weak character. He's quite powerful, right? He managed to go one on one with a rat like Swan Chi. So as long as it, it's not devastation or something, he won't probably have a hard time, right? At the very least, please come on. <laughs> but yeah, um. But if she, if Watching's there, or Watching aka Sanlang's there, then I would probably be more assured of their, of Shigan's safety. Come on. Come on, Watching. I know you can do it. I mean, Sanlang. <laughs> Come on. At the very least, this is already episode 6. Sooner or later, they have to confirm his identity. Come on. The reason why he's kind of destroying these holy artifacts, heavenly artifacts, is because he is Watching. Come on. Let's just, do a confirmation, probably. I, I don't really, it would really make me be angry or something like that. I would, if the reveal would not happen in this season. Come on, it has 12 episodes. <laughs> At the very least, we need a confirmation. But yeah, um, I'm really uh, satisfied with this episode. Uh, probably one of my favorites. Oh, no, this is currently my favorite. Like, the, all of the mystery. The fluff, the romance, and the bickering, it was, it was well done. I mean, episode one is still pretty good because of the wedding procession that this, to this couple made. But yeah, I really like this episode and I hope you guys did as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry about the noises. I did not, I did not expect it to be noisy, to be this noisy. But well, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did and I hope you guys did as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm ending this reaction right here and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.